Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Wednesday, October 29th, 2014. I'm astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Check out my astrology classes now because this is eight hours going into everything from running charts, lunar eclipses, solar eclipses, squares, north node, knowing all about these things deeply, even if you want to run relationship charts, your solar return, lunar return, all that stuff is in an awesome eight hour four pack of going deep into the astrology show. It's on sale now for download at my website, inclusiveastrology.com. But before we take a look at all the planets, let's take a look at the Leo King planet energy meter to get a bead on where the energy is and where I'm rating this. You know, the energy has been kind of in a weird space. I'm going to be honest about uh, this determining where I'm going to put this right now. I'm going to put it at medium. And the reason why I put that is because we're kind of in between these weird spaces. Yes, the energy is still intense, but that's Scorpio. And that's inner world stuff. But I think this Capricorn, this more extrovert, you know, you know, powerful kind of reach for the top energy that we have today is balancing it out. Where it's like in the outer world, we've got things to do. We've got to get back on track. We've got to go. And I think yesterday really set that in motion very powerfully. But there's Scorpio. What are the things you're attaching to emotionally that you can't let go of? Especially with Saturn there, these are where the problems are at. Scorpio issues. Deep fear issues, deep emotional issues, deep grippling fears. And, and it's like, especially with Venus here trying to bring, you know, that positive energy, it doesn't do too well when you come into Halloween and, you know, it's like being spooked, right? Like, where are you being spooked now? And where can you get back on track with being spooked? Now, today, the moon in Capricorn gonna make a powerful square to Mercury and the North Node in Libra. Now Mercury, remember, just did a long retrograde, right? Just did this three week retrograde and now here it is trying to come back and get the hell out of Dodge where it went retrograde. It's still kind of stuck in where it retreated. It's like going past over dead bodies, you know? It's like, ah, oh, I gotta go through all this. But as it's going through, it's trying to find peace of mind and figure all these things out and still weigh things out. That weighing out's still not there, especially as you're being spooked. The mind doesn't know how to process it because it doesn't even understand being spooked. It's like trying to go, well, I don't know. What side do I do? It's like we're going through a weird aspect of being so deep yet our mind's not knowing still how to compute it all and trying to figure it out. And it's like overwhelming on every side of the scale like because the emotions are so deep and here's all this Capricorn energy trying to go and make things going it can become intense. But especially when the moon squares Mercury, you might not emotionally understand. Especially as the moon's like going, let's go, let's go, let's make it to the top. And there's Mercury going like, well, I just can't make it there yet. I gotta weigh all these things out. It's like, Ugh, that could be frustrating. So you gotta get over this today. Today, yes, it's important for peace of mind, but yes, you gotta stay on the trail. But yes, you know, being on the trail, you gotta like maybe take a rest. So there's an aspect of not letting everything overwhelm you today, especially mentally and emotionally. And as this energy is really intense with Scorpio, learning of where maybe you need to just let go a little bit and, and bring the energy maybe to another place passionately or learn to keep on the trail, but learn to make sure that your mind isn't overcomputing or taking too long weighing things out. I know it's not easy during this period, but the positive in today is that I think we figure out a way to continue on the trail without overcomputing things, without overanalyzing after maybe facing a difficult aspect of that. Hope that one makes sense. And you know, overall, let this energy still run its course. This is intense, but if you notice and you look at the astrology, as we get closer to the holiday season, it will get some relief. And, and it's, it's, it's a lot to come off of. We're still in Scorpio after a solar eclipse. And, you know, we're at a waxing period with the moon. So there's a buildup of understanding what this all seeded in our life. The card of the day is, oh, we've been getting this card a lot, but nine of wands reversed. Maybe the issue is we're still holding too tight to everything. And I feel that the issue is we need to let go. Let go of some things. You know what? Take a little bit of risk. That's Capricorn. Now, most people would say Capricorn's not risk. 
But Capricorn's a risk from safety. It's a risk to get to go to work in the morning and put on a suit if you're sick. It's a risk, you know, to do the presentation when you have anxiety or something. That's Capricorn. You gotta do it. So it's emotional risk that we have to take in our life. And I feel that we might be grippling to so much, there's a need to let go of that and still go out there and do what we gotta do. And I think that's very important right now, is that you gotta do things, but of course you gotta pay attention to your sensitivities, but it's all not the easiest, and there's definitely some things that you gotta work on. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you have any questions, or if you wanna have a one-on-one reading. Thank you so much for all your support, and I will see you tomorrow.